Okay, here we are inside the crchoa.com forward slash wp hyphen admin area. So the WordPress admin dashboard. So essentially, we're going to get, I'm going to show you how to add a link and a file to a page. So we'll go to pages. Right now, I know we want to update the um, minutes. So we want to try and get February minutes up there. So we're going to go to, uh, let me see where it is, Minutes Archive, I think. Look under Visual. It's kind of weird there. You can see February is not highlighted, so it doesn't have a file for it. So I, I went over to um, the Minutes Archive in the actual old site. It's not there, but and downloaded this file already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it to this site. So let's say I wanted to download or upload a new file. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and I'm going to click um, add media and I'm going to go upload files and I'm going to select the file that I had downloaded onto my computer and I know it's in this place HOA minutes doc choose and that's a Google file that I actually downloaded now we can add a title if you want to add a different one a caption a description um, link to the file and you just hit insert into page now it has the name in there and what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight that name it'll it automatically insert the name so then you just highlight the name and retype Feb it didn't do it there. Let's try this. All right, let's say uh, I'm just copying the link so I can type this in here. But let's say we have FEB, and for some reason it's not allowing EB to link, but we're going to go ahead and force it. So I copied the link out of that actual file, the downloaded file, and I'm going to put it in there just by pasting it into this place. Let's say add link. And now we'll have Feb is linked. So that's one way, and then we hit update. And if we go back to the new site, and we can see it's not updated yet, we got to hit refresh. And now we have a downloadable file. And it just went on to my downloads. So I'm going to clear that. Now the other way we can do it is we can go to our Google Documents. So here's Google Drive, and I've got the February meeting minutes on there. I'll copy this URL. I'm not signed into Google, but I've um, gone there based on the old site. So I'll copy that URL right here and I'll go back to the edit the page. And what I would do is I would just highlight, so this is probably the easiest way. Catherine, if you want to keep using Google Docs or whoever's managing it, um, just ca copy the, you know, do, all, do them all in Google Docs and then copy the URL of the file. Come over here and on this one we're going to have to break it. But on any new one, you just simply highlight the text and then you click on the chain link icon and then you paste it into the URL field and then you hit add link you can see it's highlighted there and then you hit update and you go to the new site hit update right now you can see it's highlighting in two separate links by the underline we can hit update and it's all one and this should take us directly to the link which it does and that is how you add a file and a link or upload a file and a link so um, I hope that helps thank you